Welcome to Life Source Church. Subscribe to our podcast on iTunes or SoundCloud. Good morning, this Wednesday morning. I am Andrew Landgren, joined by Pastor Waltz. We want to welcome you listeners on SoundCloud and iTunes, and also viewers on YouTube. Well, what we're going to start doing on Wednesdays uh, is a new segment called I Wonder Wednesdays. Uh, we started it this Sunday. It was a little bit rushed, uh, but we're going to do it going forward. Uh, each Sunday, I'm going to put out a post on our Facebook message board saying, if you have any questions for Pastor Walt, I will read them. Now, Pastor Walt does not know any of these questions. Uh, if you would like to, you can just post them on the message board or... You can message me personally if you want to keep it anonymous. Uh, we had a couple of those this week. Uh, so yeah, it should be interesting. He knows none of these questions. Uh, so the first question I got was, should we tithe or give on gifts that we receive for ourselves, like at a birthday party, or on our tax returns? Ah, okay. Uh, well, let's talk about the gifts thing first. I think that it depends... And obviously, this ends up being opinion at some level, right? We just want to try to get the principles that we should be giving off of our increase. And so I would say, yes, if, if you just get cash that's given to you that's for general use, right, and you get to decide what to do with it, I would always say, yeah, you give at least the first 10%, mm. okay? Uh, if you get a gift card to Starbucks, <laughs> it's a $25 gift card. I don't think you need to worry about trying to, okay, i got to do $2.50. I mean... <laughs> I, and I think designated, because if somebody gave you uh, a car or somebody gave you money to fix your car, right, I think, I think you sort of have an obligation to use the money for what it was given to you for. But generally speaking, any money that just comes to you and is your decision, you know, I, I get to choose how to use this money. Man, I would want to give on that first. I want to honor God with that. Uh, then the idea of uh, on your tax returns yes, or not. Yes, very appropriate Okay, <laughs> yes. Um, well, it really kind of depends on how you've given. Okay, some people's perspective on, on this tie, the 10%, is it's after taxes, right? It's just the net of what I get in my income. Well, if that's okay, if, if you rethink that, if, if, if you think that you shouldn't have to pay, um, or not pay, if you shouldn't have to give uh, on money that, you know, went to the government, uh, if you think that, then I would say, sure, if you get a tax return, now this money's come to you, you get to do with it what you want, right? And I, if, if, if you get money that comes into you like that, I think you ought to tithe on it. However, what I would really encourage people to do, and it's what we have done for 40 plus years, is we give on our gross income. Our tithe is figured on our gross income. And, and so for me, the idea is that, yes, the government has to get taxes, but I really got paid this much money, and then the government took their share, right? More than their share, probably. <laughs> but they took their share. But so, so we have consistently tithed off the gross, okay? Now... To be honest with you, we don't get all worried about again all the, because we're not under the law, right? We're not under having, you know, all these rules like that. But we haven't tried to keep track of, oh, okay, well, we have a health insurance benefit. Are we going to tithe on that? You know, it's just, and, and so really, I, I guess I would encourage the, the listeners is don't get too tied up in the rules on this. Just money that comes to you and you have the opportunity to, to make a decision about what to do with it, I would say tithe on it. And you, if you've already tithed on the money that the government took, then you don't need to tithe on your tax return, right? Does that make sense? Because you've already yes, yes. tithed on. However, you get a, the, if you get a big return, you might say, okay, God, what's this money for? Hmm. And it might, he might say, go on vacation with it. Yeah. Or he might say, give some money to, the par to pay the parking lot, right? But it's the idea of what, what does God want me to do? Excellent. Great first question. Uh, next question. Uh, Walt, you had mentioned uh, Sunday... Uh, you don't want to fake your giving. What did you mean by that? Well, what we're really talking about is, is someone getting into this idea. Again, I, I sort of mentioned just a moment ago, this, here's rules I got to follow. Because God is not looking for us to follow rules. He wants us to be good people, not do wrong things, do right things. I get that. But when it comes to our giving, what he wants is our heart. Um, and so that's where that passage of Scripture in 2 Corinthians 9, 7 that says, Give as you purpose in your heart. It doesn't say even there. It doesn't say give a tithe there. It doesn't say give to missions there. It, it says give as you purpose in your heart. That's what God wants us to do. Now, what we're saying is if you will take the tithing principle and use it, that it's going to change your heart. 
it's going to put your heart where it's supposed to be, right? Because this first 10% represents the whole. And, and so I want to do that. Now, what was the question? I want to uh, make sure I've answered it. <laughs> I think so. I just mentioned what... Oh, not, not faking, faking your giving. giving. Yes. Yeah. And so by faking the giving, this could go uh, one or two ways. It could be like just, just doing the bare necessity because I think I have to, right? Mm-hmm. I'm giving grudgingly. I'm giving because somebody told me I have to. And, and that's what I mean. That's called faking your giving because what God's looking for is giving that comes from the heart. And that will also direct the heart. And so that's what we want people to do. And if, I mean, if someone is saying, you know, man, I just I don't have the faith yet. I'm struggling with this whole tithe thing. I, I would say, well... Take a step of faith somewhere and give something to God, right? And give it, not grudgingly or of necessity, and keep moving toward God on them. He'll lead you to where they need to be. Yes, I would agree. Here's an interesting question uh, I received. I do not give because I do not like how the money is spent. Is that a good excuse? My <laughs> first response is no. <laughs> well, when we look in the Scripture... When the people gave this tithe, right, their, their initial gift, the starting place for their giving, it was given to the place of worship, and there are no strings attached. Because I shouldn't say it's not, it's not actually given to the place of worship. That's, I said that wrong. It's given to God through the place of worship. And, yeah, the place of worship should use it well, right? But the reality is, when I give that money, I give it to God. It's His. I'm not hanging on to it. Otherwise, I haven't really given it, right? Now, we as a church have an opportunity, uh, you know, to talk about those things and, you know, talk about how the money's spent and try to do the best of that. But, man, that should never be because I put money in there, right? I mean, we need to be together saying, what's God want us to do? And, and work through that. And we may not always agree. But that's what we need to do. But my giving to God is separate from that. At least it is, you know, for us, and I, I really think that would be a biblical approach. Did that, you think, answer that Yes, I think that was a very, very good response. Let's see here. Ah, here's another interesting one. Uh, I heard you talking about giving 10% as a starting point. Yeah. Um, not sure if many people have this question, but if we aren't giving 10%, are we tithing correctly? <laughs> well, a tithe literally means 10%. Okay, it's the first 10%. And so if you aren't giving 10%, then no, you're not tithing. Now, uh, once again, if two things. One is if somebody's really struggling with their faith, first I'd say you can trust God, right? Don't trust your money. Trust God. You can do it. Uh, but if you're not and you say I can't give 10%, well, then spend time with God and say, God, what do you want me to do? And if he says give 2%, well, then give 2% as representing it all, right, and, and go from there. Uh, but I really think that that's a small step of faith, and maybe not even a step of faith, right? God is good. He will provide for us. God is able. He can provide for us. Uh, and so I would encourage someone to, to take that step of faith and get out there with God and do it, you know, indefinitely, and they're going to discover God is going to come through and do all the things he said he would. So. Excellent. Well, I want to thank all you viewers and listeners for your questions. Once again, every Sunday, I will put a a post on our message board on Facebook. You can comment there, or if you'd like to keep your question anonymous, message me directly. So this is it. What what are you calling this? I Wonder Wednesday. It's not Stump Walt Wednesdays. No, not Stump Walt Wednesdays. So I thank you for viewing, thank you for listening, and have a wonderful Wednesday. Wednesday.